uniforms, a new floor to go along with back-to-back -back championships. The opening tip is controlled by the Kings. Today, and you know, I said you shouldn't even be looking at the floor. Look at the basket. <laughs> Mitch Richmond down inside gets the first one to drop. That's the way to answer. After Richmond attacking the basket, fouled on the way through, ends up on the floor, but once again, not going on the perimeter as he could. Here's Richmond again attacking inside, drops it inside, got an easy pop up basket in the lane. Kaya Sydney and a good play on the setup from Chucky Brown. That's only the third field goal attempt by the Rockets. Here's Richmond from long range. He's got the three pointer. First career 3.6 blocks a game. Well, this one will put Richmond at the free throw line by the Kings' Michael Smith. Two and a half minutes to go in the opening quarter. Here's Lionel Simmons with a wide open look. He's got the bucket. Nice. Train has been much more aggressive in Richmond now. Two of seven in this first quarter. Lajuan tried to shuffle it out nonchalantly in the Kings' intercept. Biggest Houston lead of the ball game at five points. Richmond, two for seven in the first quarter, gets his first attempt of the second. Williamson had the quick release. Richmond brings it up against Delhi. Now steps back, fires from 21. He's got another one. Kings are right back in it, trailing by one. Smith looks and finds Simmons. Simmons back and Drexler down. Now finds the cutter. It's Richmond with a left hand. Good movement with it. Derek, the Kings have 10 points in the entire second quarter. They've scored 10, and they've got a chance for more. Here's Richmond up and down. He's got a tough bucket. What a great adjustment by Richmond to give the Kings the lead from the field getting the ball inside remember they shot 70 percent in the second quarter here's Williams for the trade he's got the bucket bring it up for Walt Williams Lajuan off the double team this one stolen by Richmond he manages to control feeds it off to Edney now Grant down the lane little floater nice finesse move that's a Mitch Richmond in rhythm this time. That's the key right there. Boy, he had, that was set up beautifully. Off turnover stands right now at 12 in favor of the Rockets. And this is a seven-point game. Wall Williams on the break. There's a rare transition opportunity for the Kings in 15-point lead. Richmond to the baseline. Got another one. Again in rhythm. Mitch was able to go baseline. 24 points given up off Sacramento's 19 turnovers. Richmond, second chance, counted. Good job by the Rock to not give us the Rockets had to offer again up in Sacramento, but we also had a chance to see the worst the Kings played. And Mitch Richmond makes that lean in shot, and it's scoring steals and offensive rebounds in, in a number of other categories. Nice turnaround by Richmond, who now has 24. His first duty of the second half. Beating Richmond. Richmond going baseline. Quick spinning move by Mitch. Boy, he's putting on a show here in this early fourth quarter. He's up short on the scoop. One of the foul didn't get it. Richmond pushes ahead to Marshallonis. Rooney is fouled, and he'll go to the line. What a nice adjustment there as he went right hand to left hand. The jump hook doesn't get it. Ball back tap. Richmond has it. Kings with numbers. Richmond chased by Cassell. Mitch, oh, foul on Mario Ellie, and it looked like Mario had made a great play. Well, you always say as a coach, you want to give yourself a chance. And I think by the Kings staying close here at the end, they're going to give themselves a chance. Great pass by Richmond, and Coswell cashes in. Mitch just got back in bounds in time. Knocked loose, grabbed by Smith. Oh. Richmond going for two. Got another one. His foot was on the line. And look at Mitch <laughs> bang his forehead in frustration. And Michael Smith can't get it. Marshallonis keeps it alive. Richmond immediately for three. He's got the bucket, and we've got a tie ball game. No, it's two. His foot was on the it's line. It's not a tie. It's a one-point ball game. Antonio Spurs trying to take one away from the defending world champions. Richmond, there's the season high for the Rock. That one is three. As we take another look at Richmond. Well, Mario Ellie's out there reaching, trying to get some, get some support and find where Mitch is, and Mitch just... Pushes him back, a little rocker step. He goes up for that jump shot right in rhythm once again by making a couple of shots previous to that. Marshall Lewis, Rooney into the lane. Shovels the pass and up for Coswell. Broken up by Elijah Wong. Somehow Richmond comes up with it. Somehow he puts the basket and he's fouled. How about that play right there? <laughs> that was outstanding. He's trying to shovel the ball off. Marshallonis inside traffic, trying to shovel it off to Coswell, but the Rockets unable to come up with it. Mitch Richmond comes from the blind side and picks it up and able to put it up on the glass. 
Hakeem with a miss. Richmond with a rebound, and he's fouled by Sam Cassell. Is that the bonus? Time to be able to back him down inside. That's the sixth time that Olajuwon has 30 or more, and Richmond has got another one. Now we start thinking about a possible career high from game. Richmond with the rock. He wants more. Brings this one out, but the foul is called. Drexler. Greg Willard with ball between Marshallonis and Ellie. Ellie controls it. Richmond goes for it. Richmond saves it to Marshallonis. Oh, what a great play. Bavetta says, yes, it's good. It's knocked away as the Kings, there was indecision, and it was knocked away by Akeem, and it went out of bounds. It'll still be Sacramento's ball, but it's still not over. Richmond with a shot clock at seven, hounded by defenders. Here's Marshallonis. He's got the three. Yes, with three he's got it. on the shot clock. And Rooney, third best three-point percentage in the NBA. So here we go, inbounds to Richmond, double, and he's fouled, and he'll have a chance now to hit a pair of free throws, and if he does, not only would he give his club a four-point lead, but he would have equaled his career scoring high set in 1989. Quiets the crowd. He's got the bucket, 47 on the night to equal a career scoring high. And hang on to it with five to go. Now he buys the defender, and this one is all but over. Count it down, and the Kings, who were blown out by 40, 72 hours ago at Arc. We'll come back and uh, try to put some perspective on this and take a look at some numbers.